it, it is oh, such a pleasure to stand here with my fellow laborers. So, years ago, I lived in a little town in coastal Massachusetts where one winter our choral society, the local choir, decided to mount a production of Handel's Messiah. And this was a, a cause for both celebration and, and, and some uh, caution. Uh, we were a very small town. They had very little experience. Um, but, you know, because it's a small town, you go. And uh, as I was walking into the, the church where uh, this performance was about to take place, there was this extraordinary sunset. And I thought, well, there's a sure thing. <laughs> or you can go in. <laughs> Messiah. Christmas portions. Oh, and I, I need to, uh, there's one sort of arcane word in the poem, melisma. Uh, people who sing will, will know that word. Melisma is when you take one syllable and you hold it across many notes. So, so when we sing Gloria, that's a melisma, okay? Messiah, Christmas portions. A little heat caught in gleaming rags in shrouds of veil, torn and sunshot swaddlings. Over the Methodist roof, two clouds propose a Zion of their own, blazing colors of tarnish on copper against the steely close of a coastal afternoon, December, while under the steeple, the choral society prepares to perform Messiah pouring in their best blacks and whites onto the raked stage. Not steep, really, but from here, the first pew, their a looming cloud bank of familiar angels, that neighbor who fights operatically with her girlfriend, for one, and the friendly bearded clerk from the post office, tenor trapped in the body of a baritone, Altos from the A&P, soprano from the t-shirt shop. Today, they're all poise, costume and purpose conveying the right note of distance and formality. Silence in the hall, anticipatory, as if we're all about to open a gift we're not sure we'll like. How could they compete with Sunset's oratorio? Thoughts which vanish when the violins begin. Who'd have thought they'd be so good? Every valley proclaims the solo tenor, a sleek blonde I've seen somewhere before. The liquor store shall be exalted. And in his handsome mouth, the word is lifted and opened into more syllables than we could count. Central ah dilated in a Baroque melisma, liquefied. The pour of voice seems to make the unplaned landscape. The text predicts the Lord will heighten and tame. This music demonstrates what it claims. Glory shall be revealed. If art's acceptable evidence, mustn't what lies behind the world be at least as beautiful as the human voice? The tenors lack confidence, and the soloists, half of them anyway, don't have the strength to found the mighty kingdoms these passages propose. But the chorus, all together, equals my burning clouds, and seems itself to burn, commingled powers deeded to a larger, centering claim. These aren't anyone we know. Choiring dissolves familiarity in an uppouring rush which will not rest, will not for a moment be still. Aren't we enlarged by the scale of what we're able to desire? Everything the choir insists might flame. Inside these wrappings burns another 
brighter life, quickened now by song. Hear how it cascades in overlapping lapidary waves of praise. Still time, still time to change. <laughs>